Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple has introduced iOS 16 beta 1 and it comes with a brand new lock screen with a lot of customization options. So in this video, I will show you guys everything you need to know about the new lock screen and how to customize your new lock screen with some really, really amazing features that Apple has added to iOS 16. Now, first of all, this is the lock screen of iOS 16. Now you can set wallpapers directly from from here. The way to do that simply hold right here on the lock screen and then you will have here the option to switch between different lock screens. You want to create a new one, you tap the plus button right here and you will see the collections of wallpapers. Now these are the new wallpapers of iOS 16. These are the featured ones so you will have like different colors, you will have astronomy, you will have things like weather so you can set the weather as the wallpaper for your lock screen which is really cool and then you will have the different collections right here now setting your own wallpaper should be done from here so you can choose from people that you have on your photo library or from photos you can just go ahead and simply select a photo from your photo library by tapping here once you choose the wallpaper that you want to use for your lock screen from your camera roll then you will have the options here to customize it first of all of course you can customize the clock with different fonts and of course different colors as well and you can set the intensity of the color right here now if you want to get that transparent look you just tap on the first one right here which is really good now what you can do here is also swipe like this to switch between different filters and of course you can have now widgets on the lock screen you tap the plus button and you will be able to add up to three widgets or two if you use the bigger ones so you tap on the widgets right here and you can select actually up to four widgets if you're using the smaller ones and add them to the lock screen of your device now this right here where it says the date now that's a widget as well you can actually also customize that so instead of just showing the date right there you can choose whatever you want to show you tap right there and you will have a bunch of options you will have of course suggestions here at first then you will have your calendar you have the clock you have your fitness you will have stocks weather and all that so you can choose whatever you want to display there which is really great now editing these is of course the same now if you just want to change a widget here tap the minus button to remove it and you can just go ahead and simply add another one now that you have created a lock screen with your own wallpaper, you can of course simply select it from here. So select the lock screen that you want. But what's really cool is this lock screen right here. So you can see it has this wallpaper. I can just turn off my device. And when I wake it again, it has a new wallpaper. Again, another wallpaper. This is actually really cool. Now to create this, you will need to use another option called shuffle. You can do that simply by tapping here. Now to create this, you go to photo shuffle right there. You tap here, it will take you to your photo library. Once you're on your photo library, all you have to do is pick the wallpapers that you want to use. So you will have, of course, the ability to select as many wallpapers as you want. Tap add right here. And now they're added to the lock screen. Now what you can do here is, of course, again, you can add the widgets, customize here anything you want. And you can tap here if you want to see the wallpapers that you have. You can add more photos or you can select and remove any of them if you want to. So what you can do next, this is really cool. Tap on the three dots right here and it allows you to choose the shuffle frequency. That means that you can choose how many times you want these to change and how fast you want them to change. Now the way to do that, you tap here, and it will show you a few options. So you can change them hourly. So every hour it will change to a new wallpaper daily on wake or on tap now on wake is the one that i showed you guys when every time you wake up the screen of your iphone you will have a different wallpapers but you can also do that on tap so when you're on the lock screen of your device all you have to do now is just tap right there to actually change the wallpaper and you can see how cool that looks this is really really amazing Another thing you can do with lock screen on iOS 16 is add the current weather on your city, on your location as the, as the wallpaper for your lock screen. To do that, you will need to choose the weather option. So right here at the top, you will have weather. Now, 
This of course needs location services. So you will have the current weather conditions right there all the time. Again, you will have the option to add the widgets and of course customize the clock here. So once you have done that, you can tap done and apply this to the lock screen of your device and you will have the current weather conditions as the lock screen on your device and it actually looks really really cool now this actually applies to the home screen as well even though it's not dynamic on the home screen now here's another way to customize the lock screen of your device and that's by using emojis so tap right here and you can tap on the emoji option and you can have here up to six different emojis you can see right there add up to six different emojis and then you can use them as a wallpaper for your device now once you have done that you can swipe like this to switch between different layouts so you will have grid large grid rings you can see spiral this looks really really cool and you can have them on the lock screen of your device by tapping the three dots right here you can change the background color there so you can see the background right there at the emojis and now you're good to go of course you will still have the option to customize and add the widgets on the lock screen so tapping right here can edit the emojis anytime you want so if you just want to add new emojis you can do that directly from here and get a really really interesting look on the lock screen of your device now something really interesting that apple has done with the lock screen on ios 16 is the ability to actually attach a focus mode to lock screen so when you go to your lock screens and you want to customize them you will have here focus so if you tap on focus you can choose a focus mode and then when you have that focus mode you will have that enabled so you can see when you when i enable this lock screen it will also enable the focus mode right here if i go to another lock screen you can see that will actually be disabled but if i again go to the focus modes and i actually enable that focus mode it will also automatically change my lock screen so these are attached together whether you change the lock screen or change the focus it will change one another that's really really cool and of course a very interesting way of approaching lock screens on ios 16 and of course now that you know all these customization options there are a few extra things that you can do here you can see with wallpapers you will have here some collections you have colors right you have different gradients that you can actually just create yourself you go here have vibrant you have tone right there deep you can see you have all kinds of different like you have solid here all kinds of different gradients that you can add to the lock screen of course just go ahead and choose them with the color you can always create a brand new wallpaper for your device whichever one you like you can just simply apply it to the lock screen of your device and you will also have here these like dynamic wallpapers if we just go here to the collections you can see under these we have these all dynamic wallpapers which again can be used for a lock screen of your device and now that you have created a bunch of different lock screen wallpapers you can of course also delete them if you want to just tap and hold and you can delete the wallpaper just like that so that is it for this video guys this is how you can customize the new ios 16 lock screen i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and subscribe for more ios 16 videos and i'll see you on the next one